Hey guys, how you doing? This is Colin Tanner from GamesUnderPressure.com, home of news, reviews, videos, and of course the Pressure Cast and First Hour series. And I am here with an unboxing of the PlayStation TV. Now you probably heard about the PlayStation TV uh, at some point last year when it was announced at Tokyo Game Show. Uh, it was released in Japan uh, about a year ago, and at that time, uh, Westerners were pretty excited to see the Vita TV hopefully come to America. And it has. And uh, now no one really cares. Go figure. But let's find out if this is something we should care about. Now in this first video, we're going to do the unboxing. So we got some tape right here. There we go. Tape on this side. Now this is not the bundle. The bundle comes with a PlayStation 3 controller, not a PlayStation 4 controller. Um, as well as a memory card. Ooh, get the best. Okay, get the best, everybody. Uh, they're advertising the remote play functionality, which is pretty significant. A lot of people have uh, taken interest in remote playing on another TV, their PlayStation 4 games. Uh, and uh, But I'm more excited about this to finally be able to capture video for Vita games, which we've wanted to do on the site for a long time. Okay, let's see what we got in here. We have the power cable. Awesome, great. Can't wait to... Yeah, use that. Uh, the power brick. You know, honestly, this doesn't look that different from the Vita charger. I got the little nozzle thing there. Okay. And we have an HDMI cable. Interesting. I wasn't aware it was going to be coming with an HDMI cable. Real quick, let's find out just how big of a cable this is. I got a 10-foot cable, uh, so I'm good. But I think if you're buying this, you probably care to know if this is a useless cable or not. I actually tried to look up to see the length of the HDMI cable and I couldn't find any information. Just people were like, oh yeah, it's pretty big. Which is not helpful. All right. Oh God. Um. Yeah, okay, let me see real quick here. Let's see. Hmm. I think it might be about nine or ten feet. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. I don't know. Let's get to the real meat of this video. Let us meet a PlayStation TV already. Instruction booklet. Random languages. Always a good thing. The other thing to help us learn how to charge our controllers with the PlayStation TV, which does actually charge in a powered down state, so you can charge your controllers, which is pretty cool. I, wow, what? All of this box coming right down to this, right here, the PlayStation TV. Guys, this is, this is pretty, oh my god, that's it? Wow, okay, that is um, insanely small. On this side, you can see that there is nothing. Over here, though, you can see that we have uh, the HDMI, the USB, what I assume is the Vita game slot, and an Ethernet cable. Let's see where do we put the games in. You can see a little slot right over here. Or maybe you can't. It says PS Vita. That's where you can put your Vita games in here. Real quick, let's, let's do a little bit of a size comparison. So we've got... Jesus, look at that. There, there it is. The Vita TV or PlayStation TV compared to a DualShock 3. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty small. I can't, I'm actually kind of amazed that it's this small. Wow. Okay. Maybe maybe that comparison isn't good enough. The DualShock 4. Look at that. Look how tiny it is. Uh, what about, uh, I don't know, an Xbox? Well, there, this is a Wii U Pro Controller. Okay, um, what else do we got down here? And, uh, let's see, an Xbox One controller. Look how tiny this is. Let's actually look, compared to the Wii U gamepad, you can actually fit the Vita TV right in there. That's incredible. Um, okay, well, I've got some accessories because I already have a Vita. So let's uh, take a look at uh, this PlayStation Vita slot. How does it open? 
feel like there's a little bit of give. Do I push in? Is it from the left? From the right? Come on, PlayStation. No, wait, here we go. There we go. It is from the left. There we go. Uh, this is the game slot. Okay, this is where we put our games in. And I have a copy of Persona 4 Golden, as every Vita owner should. Let's see, like so. And voila, we have a game in there. Neat. Well, that must mean this is where the memory cards go, which as a uh, owner of the Vita, I have more than a few memory cards. So let's take this eight gigabyte memory card. This one actually uh, comes with the bundle, the one that comes with Lego, the movie, the game, the controller, um, I think a charger for the controller. Nope, doesn't want to do that. I right, gotta put in upside down. Nope, doesn't doesn't want to do that. Okay, shouldn't right, be be very careful when putting in memory cards here. There we go. That's nice. It has a nice little uh, if you can see on here, a nice little uh, indent when you put it in. So there's a nice little area where your finger can push in and uh, get the darn thing out if it wants to. All right. Well, that's that's it. There's your PlayStation uh, TV. I mean, compared to the box, look how huge this box is. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Next video, gonna take a look over at um, the capabilities of the PlayStation TV. Gonna test out uh, PlayStation uh, Four compatibility with uh, the Remote Play, as well as the Vita games, and see what works on here. And uh, yeah. I think that'll do it. Um, if you're just going to watch this part, go to gamesunderpressure.com and check out more of our videos. We got tons of stuff out there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.